Joe Griffo's in here. How are they going to handle this internet sales tax? So I buy something online, and we're going to be paying the sales a new Correct. sales tax on that. Right. Well, right now you're not paying sales tax okay. unless in certain instances or some instances if some cases know, there's if a the little store bit. has a <clears throat> presence here, right, right. somewhere else. It's yeah. it's it's. You know. I actually do think this is fair. The state the state is foregoing. It's a it's a consumer tax, but I mean the state foregoes a lot of money. Right, it, and it almost it, incentivizes you to purchase online, then visit your brick and mortar store because you have a financial advantage. Well, you'll find the brick and mortars complain about this that uh, that you can go online, and but right. you can also they could have an online store and you can buy their products online, and they're not subjected to sales tax there. Uh, no, they are. They are. It, it, yeah, it's, it's a, a mess. Uh, this just is it's it's complicated, but it basically mo- a lot of people now just go online. Uh, right, it's a reflection of <laughs> contemporary society and how people engage in retail things of that nature and that's why everybody's trying to, they're struggling i mean you saw the sears situation and mm-hmm. things of that nature but i just think that again uh we got to figure things out the it's uh, my problem is you're just quickly continually going to the taxpayer's wallet saying let's find a <clears> new <throat> way rather than reducing spending in the state reprioritizing how we're spending where we're spending the answer is let's find another way to tax people that's the issue i have yeah. with this. I, I i think you're absolutely right but you know i remember i don't know if it was google or yahoo or whoever or amazon they were like oh you know uh, you people don't pay sales tax on purchases on amazon or whatever, whatever the website was and it used like, to be advertised the fact that you could buy online and you don't have to pay sales tax. And that's actually what it's called the amazon tax because mm-hmm. of that yeah. And then be, when you say Amazon, they'll think about this. This is everything we're doing right now. And to me, this is all a uh, hindrance to business, right? It's new cost for business as well as all of us as residents of the state of New York. And then the city of New York uh, and all of these guys turned their backs on 25,000 jobs and $27 billion in potential How income. And yeah. they said yeah. no to Amazon. That would have helped the budget is, gap, right? Tell me about it. That's what's remarkable about yeah. this. You know, you can block Amazon and prevent 25,000 jobs and $27 billion in, in income over the uh, the next decade or whatever. And, and yet now we're saying, oh, let's find new ways to tax people. It's just the, the whole Amazon thing is people, some the left, I'll, I'll identify them as the left. They were like, look at this greedy Amazon. Right. They don't charge a sales tax, and then they get off scot-free. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, the consumer pays the sales tax, not the business, right? Correct. Right. So I, it, I just thought it was a funny thing. But I do think it's fair because it incentivizes, like all the stores we have in our community, you're incentivized to the tune of almost 10% to purchase online instead right. of go to your it, local it, store. It's like everything else. I, I hear you, and you're right. There's this balance that you want to achieve. The same thing with the econ- the environment, with the plastic. I don't want to see the uh, right. anything that hurts our environment or uh, you have all this stuff in the ocean and the and <clears> beaches, <throat> right? But on the other hand, let's educate people. Let's recycle, and let's redirect it to another yeah, means. Yeah. But let's not charge people to do that. How do you feel on the, uh, on the, the mug shop? Yeah, I, I again. There, there is a part. I, there's a, on one hand, there's right. innocent until proven guilty. Sure, and I yield again to the people that are involved in the yep. criminal justice system to give me their input as to mm-hmm. why they need yep. something. So I voted accordingly. You know, I voted no on the budget, and uh, I, I just uh, listened to the sheriff's association, DA's association, to get their perspective as well as public defenders. I get mm-hmm. everybody's input to determine, you know, what makes sense here. Not politicians trying right, to right. determine policy for you know their philosophic reasons. Uh, between now and June, what do you think you can get done working? Because now you have to work across the, the line. What can you get done? Well, I, I, there's going to be a lot of legislation that gets done. The question is, what is it going to mean? Are we going to continue right, to move so to the So meaningful far left? legislation for us up here, what do you think you can accomplish? Well, it depends on what we're looking at, right? I mean, what do you mean by meaningful legislation for this area? I'll give you another thing they left out of the budget. The uh, we had and I had advocated and initiated this. Uh, we always put in five million dollars for mili- uh, for base military bases retention mm-hmm. and redevelopment. So right. communities across the state, and that didn't even include Fort Hamilton in New York mm-hmm. City and West Point. Even though I didn't think West Point was vulnerable in any way, right? Uh, that's gone <clears throat> too. But that kind of money would have been helpful to Niagara Falls, to Griffiths, to Fort Drum. Uh, to Fort Hamilton in New York City to make sure that we continue, if there's another base realignment and closure sure, commission, yeah. to you know, present our case on merit so that we could hopefully be successful. 
Um, your question is, I just don't know what the level of legislation will be. You know, what would happen that would be important to our area? I mean, we're going to get local bills well, passed. Well, the marijuana so thing. Let me, yeah. let me say this. Okay. From that perspective, if, if we have a local issue, we'll get it done. Yeah. I think I feel confident that I have the relationship and that we can get that stuff passed. From a statewide policy perspective, I don't know what's going to be presented. Yeah, no. You know, and, and hopefully it would be not things that would cause and place a burden or a regulation or a mandate. Right. And that's my well, concern. Well, there's a couple right of now. areas. Um, did they pass the um, – so you have education. Correct. Did they pass the, the cameras on every school bus? Um, no, that wasn't in the, uh, okay. in the budget. That the still might right come now. by June. Sure. Um, but, you know, just the, the funding issue. Um, well, I'll tell uh, you, early voting is a great example of that. You're right. I mean, the early voting that was all passed, yep. uh, there's no funding to really go with it. There's, there's, yeah, they're all there's on their anemic own. anemic funding. Yep. And most of the action, Nassau County, who was looking for a bailout for rebail, actually said it's going to cost them $3.7 million just to do the, uh, the, the early right, voting. To, and here, yeah. even Oneida County, we're going right. to have all these costs, and who's going to have to absorb them now? Mm-hmm. The county, that's unfair. We should have provided the money right. with the requirement. Not and to the, mention and, the, the money and, for and, training, Joe. And, correct. They, they've got to learn how to do all of this stuff. And the stuff. three hours off, if you remember, the governor wanted a full day off, and, and we criticized so that. So for those saying, who don't know, uh, beginning now, I believe, if you're an employer, you have to give your employee. Is it any size business? It's any 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 size. It's three hours. It's uh, three hours off to go vote. Three hours off to go vote. Now I don't know that there's a requirement to show that you've actually voted. I, that's right, what we had said. Right. If you're gonna, I understand. Instead of a day off, you would have at least a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. And and that existed. Oh. There was a requirement, not a requirement, but it was there was a. Suggestion. I'm not sure. I want the person voting. That's only voting to get the three hours off. <laughs> I'm not sure I would want them voting. And the one thing they did do that I do agree with, it's going to cost more, is there's going to be uniform, uniform hours across the state. Like we had primary hours here of noon to 9. That's smart. And they were 6 yeah. a.m. To, t- to 9 p.m. downstate. Now it will be uniform 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Well, they, that makes uh, sense. You know, they should do the same thing. There should be, Joe, you have to get this done. School districts need to be uniform. Um, every even in our own area, one school district goes until eight p.m. Another one goes until nine p.m. Another That's one starts idea. at one. Uh, it is so ridiculous. Yeah. To you're going to end up getting a lower turnout because people get confused. It's hard to talk about it from our standpoint in the media because everybody's got a different time slot. Right. That uniformity, that p- type of thing, I understand. You know, and that would come out of probably the board of regents who would make that decision. They could possibly yeah. do that. Or it has to be done legislatively. I'd have to But it should that. be uniform, right? Yeah, I don't and, like... Oh, here's another thing that just burns me up. They, you got to pass legislation that makes the credit card machine at all stores uniform. Do I hit green for credit or do I hit oh. red? No, you hit the little box in the corner. Well, the that's yellow, not like canceled. that over at Walmart. Pro- it's different over here. It's different everywhere. The way things are right now in New York, they'll pass that and then charge you an extra fee. In order You're to right. That's exactly <laughs> it. Good, good talking to you. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Very nice, Joe. Take Thank care. you. Uh, we appreciate it.